it's Alyssa. Today we're gonna read Fairy Tale Frankie and the Tricky Witch by Greg Gormley and illustrated by Stephen Lenton. Frankie loved fairy tales. She really, really loved them. So one morning, she was rather surprised and delighted to find a fairy tale princess in her bedroom. Please, could you help me hide? said the princess. The witch is coming. Yes, of course, said Frankie. You can hide under my bed. Then Frankie opened her bedroom door, only to find a unicorn's bottom blocking her path. I don't know where to hide, said the unicorn, panicking, and the witch is on her way. This was all quite unusual, but Frankie adored unicorns, so she pushed it into her wardrobe. Please, could you pass me my overalls, she asked, before fully closing the door. Frankie got dressed and went to the bathroom where she noticed a mermaid peeping out from the bathtub. Wow, hello, said Frankie. Shh, whispered the mermaid. I'm hiding from the witch. Could you help me? Of course, said Frankie. As she drew the shower curtain, they should do the trick. Frankie zipped down the stairs. If the witch is coming, I should find my sneakers just in case I need to run, said Frankie. She heard clinking and this she heard a clinking sound and saw two boots sticking out from under the coats. Who's there? said Frankie. A brave knight, said the knight, shaking. I'm trying to hide from the witch. Well, that doesn't seem very brave, said Frankie. You'd better come and have some breakfast. Frankie gave the knight a piece of toast and then hid him among the pots and pans under the sink. As Frankie poured her, poured her cereal, a small frog hopped out of the box, crunch, what are you doing in my breakfast said frankie hiding said the frog well jump back into the box said frankie can i have a kiss asked the frog certainly not said frankie as the doorbell rang there was a king at the door don't tell me said frankie you need to hide from the witch correct said the king somewhere fit for royalty please Quick, under here, said Frankie. She placed a lampshade on the, the king's head and made him stand in the hallway. Oh, said the king. Frankie looked around. She had hidden everyone. But who will hide me, said Frankie. It was too late. Kazam! The door crashed open and the witch appeared in a puff of smoke. Got you, the witch shrieked. Now, where are the others? Frankie wanted to run. It took every bit of her courage to say, I don't know who you could possibly mean. Then there's only one thing to do, said the witch, waving her pointy fingers in the, in the air. Broom, broom, bring them to me. With a whoosh, the wishes broomstick sped through the house. It swept the princess out from under the bed. Careful, she said. It shoved the unicorn out of the wardrobe. How rude, he said. It brushed the mermaid out of the bath. That tickles, she laughed. 
The broom waggled around under the sink until it outclattered the night. Clank. It tipped over the cereal and out tumbled the frog. Crackle. Finally, it knocked the lampshade off the king's head. Clonk. Stop, said Frankie. Leave my friends alone. But the witch just cackled. I've found you all. Whose turn is it now? Turn? What do you mean? said Frankie, asked Frankie, puzzled. We're playing hide and seek, said the king. Would you like to play too? Oh, yes, please, said Frankie. I love hide and seek. Excellent, said the witch. Now shut your eyes and count to ten while we hide. Frankie shut her eyes and counted to ten, and then she called... Ready or not, here I come. The end.